Hi guys. Hi. So we have rolled our way into 2013. Cray, cray. Yeah. And we thought that it would be most appropriate for us to look back on 2012 and share with you guys what some of our favorite products were from the year. Yeah. Some of these we might have even discovered in 2011, but they've really yeah. come to life in 2012 for us and really become favorites. These are, no, we didn't do this in any particular like category. No. We just really looked at our stuff and said, okay, what have, what do we reach for? all of the time yeah. and what would we really be sad about yeah. if we didn't have them anymore yeah. so um seriously we're gonna go in no order some mm -hmm. of the things mindy has i use and agree some of the things that i have she obviously uses and agrees too but we think we got a bunch of different stuff that's been like stand out for the year yeah okay um one thing i bought probably in the middle of the year it was around my birthday i believe um, but I've just loved this so much and it has become, I think, my signature scent, if I may mm -hmm. have one, is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Perfume. This is the one that was a, a limited edition, I believe, because it's specifically the Dreaming and Portofino, but I love this scent. It is perfect. It's what I wear every day and I will be really sad if the regular Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue doesn't smell exactly like the Dreaming and Portofino one. You might have to get on Amazon yeah. or oh, like fragrance.net like fragrance and net. Yeah. try to find it and get a backup. Yeah. You're going to need a backup. Yeah, because I'm, I'm going to be done just with that hurting soon. on that. Yeah. Um, probably something to me that I have, I just cannot rave about enough is this BB Cream by Garnier. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I have loved it. Um, mm -hmm. It's the Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector in light medium. It has SPF of 15. I found this, I don't even know, months and months ago and used it all over the summer. Mm -hmm. um, continue to use it into the winter. I love it. I've, I've said this before. If you have oilier skin, then this is probably not awesome for you because it does... It does help keep the moisture. It, it does make your skin look a little dewy, in my mm -hmm. opinion. That's why I love it, because I have skin that's a little bit drier. And this is my second tube of it. I just got it. And, I mean, holy grail for me right now. I mean, yeah. I, can't, I can't sing its praises you enough. You wouldn't go out and buy another anything else right now, would Not you? Not right now. Yeah. Uh -uh. And I think it's like eleven ninety nine at CVS. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I love this stuff. Awesome. Love it. Okay, well, my um, best of 2012 would definitely not be complete for me if I did not rave about Clarins skincare. I have become obsessed, addicted. It's pretty much where all my money has gone for the past couple of months is buying skincare stuff. And I yeah. do gonna I'm gonna have a winter skincare um, video coming up soon, just to kind of show you guys what I'm using. It's all, like almost all Clarins products, um, but I thought that I'd feature just two moisturizers that I can't live without, and I don't think that you should either. This is the mm -hmm. Hydra Quench Cream. It's for normal to dry skin. So if you're on the dry skin side, this is your go-to lotion mm -hmm. for during the day. <clears throat> and then at night, I love this extra firming night. Now this is a little more on the expensive side of things. But it's a splurge. It's really awesome. I swear to you that I feel like, and granted, we're in our early to mid-30s, so we're not really worrying yet about, you know, um, all of the, like, firming things and anti-wrinkles. Not worrying, as in, like, we're really in the midst of, like, having to use those products. But we are on the swing of having to think yeah. about those things. I mean, we think that you girls in your 20s should be thinking about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And when I started using the Extra Firming Night Cream, I rub it down my neck. And when I put it on my neck, I kind of rub upwards like this. And I do believe, and people might call me crazy, but I do believe that I have felt some more, like, firmness in mm -hmm. my neck and in my jaw. So, I don't know. I swear by it, but no best of 2012 would be complete without me raving yeah. about Clarence. And we do think that if you're someone who watches these videos and you're like, oh, I'd never spend this on this eye makeup or I'd never spend this on a mascara. I like my drugstore. That's great. Mm -hmm. But if there is an area where you want to put a little extra money, it will never hurt to invest in your skincare. Yeah. I think. Definitely. I mean, this is what you're going to have for the rest of your life. Yes. Got to take, take care, good of, care of, it. of it. Um, um, going on with Clarins. Yeah. We discovered that Clarins Gloss Prodige back in January from Miss Lisa Lisa D1 and became obsessed with them. Yeah. This is in the color Nude. I am almost out of it. 
Uh, Mindy and I have since gotten the papaya. There's a pink one that I forget the name of it. Um... There's a rose one that Mindy had, but has since lost. lost. So that was the like heartbreak of the year when I lost these that. These things, from the smell they to smell the like texture, grape bubble gum. Oh my gosh! The smell. And the color, it just. I'm sorry. I think these are like twenty one dollars, and they are so well worth yeah. it. Um, as soon as I'm out of this one, I'm definitely going to get another one. And I feel like this is a gloss that I'll always have in my collection. So Clarence, mm -hmm. best not get rid of the Gloss Prodige in no. Nude. Because, I mean, the rose is really pretty too. Yeah. But the Nude for me, mm, yeah, love it. Gorgeous. And it's love been an all-year like grab. And literally, I mean, you can see I'm coming down to like next to nothing. That's, which is exciting yeah, to is, finish a is, whole too. It is, but then it's sad in the I same know. hand. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. I don't have any lip products, but I do have a couple of um, other cosmetic items. This is the Too Faced uh, Matte Bronzing Powder with Real Cocoa and then Milk Chocolate. Now, this has been my favorite bronzer of 2012. I think it's going to be the bronzer to top as far as in my mm -hmm. opinion. It's going to be really hard to beat this. Look, I've hit pan. I, I'm going to be like rimming yeah. around the edges now with my brush. It smells good, so you can't. I mean, cat will love that. Anything that <laughs> smells like chocolate. I mean, and it's good. It's good for your color on your yeah. face and stuff. I need this year round. I go. I use it in the summer. I use it in the winter. And just need any extra help that I can get with the bronzer. Okay. But I love this. It is definitely my favorite. And I will be buying this again as soon as it's done. I'm not going to try another bronzer. I want this just one again. With it. Yeah. Awesome. Um, this is one that is a favorite of both of ours. Yes. Um, Mindy discovered it before me. Um, it's the Benefit Their Real Mascara. And I think that was a discovery <clears throat> from like summer of 2011, something yes. like that. But we, have, oh my gosh, we swear by it. I did not pick this up until right around Christmas time last year. Mm -hmm. So I've been using it for a year. Mindy's been using it for over a year. Now we do... Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys have seen this 55,000 times. We do try other brands. Yeah. We, we do. I mean, there's some that Mindy loves. There's some that I love also. But this is one that we have both repurchased. Yes. I can't tell you how many people, too, have just asked me or my friends or my family have said, like, what's yeah. your favorite mascara? I send everybody to benefit their real. Seriously. And everybody becomes, like, a total convert. They, like, totally I mean, I feel it. like whether you have... Longer eyelashes like Mindy, shorter eyelashes like me. Um, I actually bought this um, and gave it to my mom for Christmas, so I'm ready for her to let me know what she's thinking, mm -hmm. if she's used it yet. I know she likes to go through things before she starts something <laughs> fresh. But that's how much I love it, is that I'm giving it to my mom. A friend of mine just asked me about a mascara. I recommended this. I, I realize that this costs a little more, but when it makes me happy with my stubbly little eyelashes, <laughs> then I'm just going to pay it. Sorry. Love yeah, it. it's worth it. It is. All right, I have my <coughs> eyeshadow palette that has definitely been my standout um, palette. Even, I mean, I love the Naked palettes by Urban Decay, and I go to those yeah. a lot. But when I want some color, this is the palette that I go to to play with. Um, I got this at the end of December last year, so I've definitely had all of 2012 to work with it and play with it. I actually have not hit pan on any of the colors yet, which You're I'm surprised close. by. Um, but you just, they're very pigmented, so you just need a little bit on your brush. But this is the, sorry, I'll show you. It's the Bare Minerals Ready Eyeshadow 8.0 in the playlist. And there's the colors listed on the back. And here are the colors on the inside. So gorgeous. I go to so many of mm -hmm. these and use them on a regular basis. Right now, my favorite is this burgundy. Mm -hmm. Love it. That chocolate brown right there. It's beautiful. I love this really coppery gold. Anyway, okay. love this palette. I go to it all the time. And I really think that these are a good formula. Like, they're good. They're, like I said, they're super pigmented. So, you only need a little on your brush. But then it also blends really well. I think the price it is right. Increase. Um, a set like this is $40, and right now you might be able to get some of them on sale if you check Sephora mm -hmm. or, or Ulta. Yeah. Um, but they came out with a lot over the holidays, gorgeous colors. If you've tried the Bare Minerals in the pots, the pressed formula is fantastic. Awesome. I mean, I have this, I have another um, little duo, and I'm telling you, um, these make great 
like yeah. birthday like I know the holidays are over but like birthday gifts or what but you mm -hmm. should you guys should check those out there are they're great I'm glad that they changed from just having the little pots yeah I don't I like that sometimes but this is so much easier I don't think you're gonna go wrong with any of these mm -hmm. palettes so definitely yeah. give those a try if you haven't um I think a standout eyeshadow for me this year um I love all the palettes that I have too. I'm very thankful to have them all. But this is something that my mom turned me on to, and they're the Estee Lauder um, Jelly Powder Shadows. And I always have a hard time. Oh, look. Um, you don't need a lot to work with this. This is the Cyber Gold. I have just really enjoyed these. I have four, but there are three in particular that I've. I've loved a lot and it doesn't look like I've used them that much but I promise you I have I've been using them especially a lot over the holidays um, I got this one first this is great for like a smokier eye and it's the cyber green but check these things like you do not need a barely, lot at you barely all put your finger um, on them. I got this one at a CCO and the other two I got at I think Macy's um, but the formula it's so great. And, and I love the pretty designs on them. I know. And I hate to say this because they are expensive for one. So that does stink. Um, I bought this one myself. I got this one as a gift. And the one I got at the CCO. Yeah. Um, they are expensive. And I forget how much they are a piece. But they are pricey when you can get a palette like Mindy just showed for like, you know, 30 or 40 bucks. But I was really surprised by them. Yeah. I don't have a lot of Estee Lauder. I don't know a lot about their... I mean, Estee Lauder owns so many brands, but you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Um, but I've just been so excited by these. And I know that they have spring palettes, spring and summer palettes that I think launch around April. My mom got one last year. That's what started this whole craze for me. <laughs> I'm definitely going to treat myself to one of those. Because yeah. you can get like six different colors, five or six different colors for a really good price. Considering that one of these is probably like 20 some bucks. Yeah. But they surprised me, so I felt like I needed to talk about them because I've been reaching it's for like them a, a lot. New, well, it's like a yeah. new, new discovery in yeah. an unexpected place. People, not everybody probably goes to Estee Lauder counter and buys like yeah. a single eyeshadow. And powder. when I say you don't need a lot, you don't need a lot, and they have great staying powder, powder, <laughs> staying power. <laughs> Thank you. All right, something else that I figured I'd talk about because I've talked about it in so many videos. You know, it's my holy grail hair product is the Moroccan oil. I mm -hmm. love this stuff. I have refilled this number a number of times, um, thanks to Jamie. She I know has I just started ones. using it, um, but I have probably that much left in this one. You just use the tiniest amount, like a pea size amount, and just run it through your ends and it makes your ends look so much healthier and it keeps them that way. Like I just, I actually went like four months towards the end of this year without a trim and that wow. is really bad. But even when I went to the on, to get my hair trimmed a few weeks ago, the girl said, she was like, you really can't tell. And I was like, That's good. I said, That's I swear, good. it's the Moroccan oil. Like, it really keeps your ends healthy. So, Yeah, I just started using it. it. So, Mindy's talked about it so much over the year that I was like, okay, I finally bought one. And, yeah, yeah I'm using it. I'm just starting to use it. I used it. But we'll see. Yeah, definitely get it if you haven't yet. Um, on the same, I'll just go right into hair, too. Okay. I have two other makeup things. But, um... I forgot to bring my conditioner. I know I talk about the suave stuff a lot, but for the price point, three ninety nine, awesome. maybe three dollars. The dry shampoo, you need it. Just mm -hmm. go for it. It's the suave keratin. Try it. If you don't like it, I'm really, really sorry because I don't know why you wouldn't. It's the best one out there at a great price point. It is. And this, um, I I buy the color care shampoo for the keratin infusion, but I'm telling you, I love it. I can rec. <sighs> I'm sorry, they compare this to Kerastas. Now, I don't use Kerastas, but just how this works in my hair, I don't even feel like I need to go buy it to try yeah. it. And I've actually given this as gifts. I gave some of this to my mom. <laughs> and she has thick hair like me, but her hair is a lot frizzier. Um, I hope she's not watching. But a lot more damaged. <laughs> uh, and I'm telling you, the first time she used this and she came up to see me, I immediately knew she used it, and I was like, oh my gosh, what did you do different to your hair? She was like, I used that shampoo you gave me. And I'm like, yes. Yeah. It looked so much better. But, I mean, you it's just can't stuff. beat this price. Yeah. And I love it. Who knew so Suave? Go oh, on Suave. Suave. I like the smell of it. It's cool. fabulous. All right. Um, to go ahead and go back to your makeup. Two. Okay. Yeah. Two little things. One that surprised me. Um, we get Birchbox. You guys know that. And Birchbox, it's been months ago, had a teeny 
tiny sample of a Jouer Lip Enhancer. It's a conditioning lip treatment that's supposed to plump up your lips a little bit. I love that sample so much that I bought the full size. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a, probably maybe half this in here. I love the way this makes my lips look. I use it every morning after I do my makeup, right before I maybe, sometimes I don't put on anything over this. Yeah. And sometimes I like the way it looks before I put on a gloss. I think it does make my lips look a little fuller, sexier. Yeah. It's weird. Isn't that gross? Kind of love that. But no. it does, I swear. And I don't have anything else Jouer, mm -hmm. but when this runs out, I'm totally going to buy it. And I'm going to buy it through Birchbox. Yeah. So thank you, Birchbox, because this helped a lot, and I love it. And then this is something that I got off of a recommendation from Marnie, Miss Gold Girl, on YouTube. And it's the Urban Decay 24 7 Concealer Pencil. I got the color FBI, and I was worried that a cream stick, look at this, it's all banged up here. <laughs> I was worried that a cream stick really would catch in my lines. I'm, She's checking I'm in sorry. the mirror now. I don't think it does, but I really like it. I like the coverage that it gives. Um, yeah. I do alternate between this and like trying other drugstore brands like the Maybelline, Maybelline. Age Rewind mm -hmm. or something like that. But I really like this. I was impressed by it. Do you blend that out with your finger or brush? I use both. Some, it just depends on the time. Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Um, I have something, actually, let's talk about let's these. Talk about these. This is because, definitely a joint one. Yeah, we both have these. Um, I tried to grab most of them. And love them. Again, this was something, um, in 2011, Jamie gave the, me a set of the Sigma Essentials Kit of brushes for my birthday. So I got them in July, and then I returned the favor and gave them to her as a Christmas gift last year. So we've both been working with them for at least a year and we love Sigma brushes. Yeah. We just don't know what, how we can yeah, rave about them. them any more than we already have. They're great quality. They pack on the color. They blend really well. And the I price mean, point is great. Yeah. You, this this set here is the essential kit, and it is it covers everything that you possibly need. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely love these brushes. They're well used, well loved. Um, yeah. I yeah. mean. If you guys haven't tried, don't have a good set of makeup you brushes. Try some. And I know a lot of people just kind of get a makeup brush here or there, and you can pick them up at like Target and stuff. But if you really want great quality brushes that are going to last you a long time, and yeah. you, you just take care of them um, as you would anything. Mine. I know I need to wash mine too, actually, now that you say that. <laughs> but um, they'll last you forever. So they're awesome. They really are. Check them out. And you'll notice that we are Sigma affiliates. We have our link below us. But one thing we made sure is that we both got the brushes and tried mm -hmm. them out before we became Sigma affiliates. A lot of people just do that. But we wanted to make sure that if we were going to put that on our page, that we you should click here, it. that we actually believed in it. Yeah. And yeah, I do. We yeah, both do. Too. And we love them and we want to build our collection because there are other brushes that I feel like we need now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, on to nails, I think. Nails will be yeah. the last thing, aren't we, it? Um, I discovered a base coat that I love. I decided that if we were going to talk about nails, I, there was no way I could pick a nail polish favorite for the year. That would be crazy. Yeah, um, oh no, 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 no. But this base coat is one that I've been going to, and I, I, will, I will buy it again and again and again. Mm -hmm. It's the China Glaze Strong Adhesion Base Coat. Now, I used to love Sachet Beat. I think that that's still a really great base coat, top coat. Um, yeah. But I really like the China Glaze I'm base coat too. the best. Um, and I feel like it makes your polish last longer, like mm -hmm. four or five days at least. I mean, maybe even longer just depending on what polish you're using with yeah. it. But I love it. And I'm, I'm getting low, so I'm going to have to go buy another one soon. And this is something that Mindy's been using for a while. It's the Nicole by OPI Drying Drops. And I cannot believe that I waited until this past year to actually try <laughs> drying drops. Like, it's changed my manicure at home. Yeah. Because these little things, I use two, you prob I just use two drops per nail. Yeah. I probably don't even need that. But I swear it works. And Mindy Forever was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you don't use these. This works so well. And it, it really does cut your time. Yeah. It really does. It does. I will never live without 
drying drops. Yeah, well, we don't. We, one thing we've told you guys before is that we don't spend money. One one way that we save money is that we don't go get manicures a lot. Yeah. Um, we do our nails at home, and sometimes that means that we are painting our nails a different color every two to three days yeah. because we love polishes and we love really mixing it up and playing yeah. with polishes. But um, so. This is a lifesaver. If you're gonna do, ma really if you're gonna is. do your nails at home, make you can sure pick it up you at Target these. at yeah. Ulta. Use your little coupon at Ulta. Yeah. Um, and you know, I have two last things to talk about that aren't related to this about the end of the year stuff. Okay. Number one is my Target debit card. <laughs> yeah, which I haven't done yet. I did it back in the spring. It's a debit card, no credit card. You go in with a blank check. It links to your account, and it's just like your debit card. They give you a debit card. You have a PIN number that you put in. There's no credit at all, which I do not want credit cards. I mean, I have a couple, but I do not want a Target credit card. So yeah. my Target debit card, and I get 5% off of everything that I purchase, which let me tell you may not sound like a lot, but when you're there a lot, or you're there buying bigger things. Mm -hmm. I mean, it works on TVs, it mm -hmm. works on groceries, you name it. We're, I'm in love we're with in it. Target a lot. I'm in love with it. And even the other night when I went to buy some stuff, it was like, oh, I saved like four bucks. And I'm like, but four bucks is like like a, two teas at Starbucks <laughs> for me. Like that, To me, that's awesome. Yeah. It's easy, it's free, and it comes out of your checking account so it won't get you in trouble because it's just like using your debit card, but right. it's for Target. Right. The second thing we discovered towards the yes. end of the year. I know what you're going to say now. <laughs> Ebates. Yeah. Ebates. Oh, my awesome. gosh. Like, so many people have been using Ebates way longer than we have, and I don't know where we were. I don't know either. We were living under <clears throat> a rock somewhere, apparently. We heard Cassie talk about it maybe in November, October, November, something like that. Cassie from Shades of Cassie on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And we were like, let's check out this Ebates. Oh my gosh, yeah. we do online shopping. We proceeded to do a lot of our Christmas shopping online yeah. through eBay. I mean, we like to shop online anyway. We both, I mean, we like to shop in stores too, but we do, do, <laughs> <laughs> we do a lot of shopping online. And then when we found out about Ebates, which if you don't know about Ebates, it is just free. Yeah. You sign up, you put in your email address and you make a password and it takes you to this page where all these stores are on. So you can shop at Sephora, you can shop at Macy's and Nordstrom, Nordstrom. and um, what are some places I shopped at this year? Uh, I shopped at Eddie Bauer because I was buying Christmas gifts for my dad. Airy, American Eagle, yeah. um, did I say Nordstrom's, Saks, uh, yeah. Payless, the NFL store, which I did go to. Yeah. Um, Crazy! I don't know. And you go and each store has like a percentage of cash back that you'll get. They, I think they cut checks a couple times a year. Like the next check to be cut will be in February of right. this year. And so, we already have money coming back to us. I mean, like, how cool is it? Decent sized checks coming back to us just as a reward for shopping through eBay. We told our friend Heather about this and she looked at us and she's like, yeah, I've been doing that for like a year. And I'm going, we're like, what? why didn't you tell us? I mean, DSW, <laughs> you name it, it's on there. You can book trips through there, hotels on there. And it's so easy that my mom is using Ebates, which she yeah. doesn't. I mean, and she bought a few bigger items from Macy's and got a decent amount back. Like, mm -hmm. you get, like, Sephora right now, I think, is 8% back. Mm -hmm. So if you're buying makeup anyway, why not get 8% of your money back to you? Yeah. Like, it makes so much sense. I cannot believe it took us this long to even know. I didn't really even know about it. Yeah, to be some, of the, with you. some of the places even offer up to like 14% cash back. So I, I saw North Face the other day. Now, I don't buy a lot of North Face. I want North Face, but yeah. I don't buy a lot of North, North Face. And it was a ridiculous amount back. I was well, like, what? I even, I bought a magazine subscription for my dad. So I went through magazines.com, <laughs> which was an Ebates partner, mm -hmm. and I got 25% cash back. Now, granted, it was just like an $18 magazine subscription for the year. But still, you got 25% back but on look, that order. It was when awesome. the economy is the way that it is and everyone is watching their money, when you can get a little money back, that's why I talked about the Target yeah. debit card too. When you can save a little, you know, everybody's cutting coupons and you go to Ulta <laughs> with your little $3.50 coupon or whatever and you And you have. feel good doing you it. You feel good doing yeah. it. And then this whole Ebates thing, like, thank you, Cassie, for sharing it with us. Yeah. Um, so you'll, you guys will notice that down below we have a link for Ebates. Yeah. You should check it out because... We're, we're thrilled with it. It is we awesome. Really it makes are. you feel good. Like, I, 
things that you're gonna buy or gifts that you're gonna buy for people, why not get a little bit extra back for the, as a reward? The cool thing is that if you if you shop at a store where they run coupons, the, it, once you go through Ebates, you'll see this tracking ticket and it says, oh, hey, Jamie, we're tracking you now on Sephora. It takes you directly to Sephora's website. It, it is Sephora's website. Yeah. You can still use your codes to get a free product, to get your mm -hmm. VIB 20% off. It, it just, it's like they get paid, I guess, for being the, the middleman, for mm -hmm. shooting you there. Yeah. But when you get money back, I'm sorry, give me That's my awesome. money. I shop. Feels we buy so a lot good. of stuff. It's nice to get some money back. So we, I don't think we mentioned that we now have the link below to eBay. So we just mm -hmm. want to throw that out there yeah. because... It has just blown my mind. I'm yeah, sorry. check it out. Just if nothing else, go, yeah, go to the website and just see what we're talking about. And it'll, you can do an alphabetical list of all of the stores. So if you have one and that you shop at particular, like DSW for yeah. shoes, you can, you know, if just go through the list, you might realize that the places that you shop at really often are on there. And yeah, it's crazy. And if you're not an online shopper, then that's cool. Yeah. But I mean, even our husbands are signed up and have bought something. It's crazy. It's weird. But it's it was the awesome. end of the year find from Cassie, yeah. and we were like, "Thank you." We've Cassie. been living under a rock, like yeah. Amy said. So, anyway, I think that wraps it up. Yeah, those are our favorite things, literally, from 2012. <laughs> we could go on and I know, on and on, I know, I know. but we'll go ahead and wrap the video up here so that we don't keep you guys any longer. But thank you so much for watching. We yes, appreciate thank you so much. all of you. Absolutely. We'll talk to you in our next video. Bye. Bye.